guys, uh, welcome back to another stream. Hope all of you are having a, you know, great day so far and everything. Um, basically. But yeah, well, we are in a great, fantastic, uh, wonderful day so far. Welcome back to another uh, Tell Me Why gameplay walkthrough video. Like I say, uh, this is a gameplay walkthrough where I'm doing, I'm trying to get the good ending for this game for all of you guys, basically. First time I am doing this game for all of you on my YouTube channel, basically. And everything. I really love this game. Hope you guys are loving it as well. Um, hope you hope this gameplay walkthrough is helping all of you out if you're playing along or just watching. Basically, hope you got all your snacks and everything set. Now, I'm going to do a little spoiler here. Um, we went and saw Eddie and we broke into the files to find out about what happened to our mother, basically. And after we did all that, we ended up here at the store and we're going to be trying to find Tessa to get more information about uh, why she reported um, our mother to social services, basically. So, I'm going to go up here to where Michael's at, basically, and ask him where Tessa's at, basically. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Will she be back soon? Is Tom busy? Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Okay, let's try the first one. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's going to be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Okay. Now that we talked to Michael. And I'm on the PC, guys. Uh, just so you know. Okay. Enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Tom here. I think we get, don't know if we can go on this side of him or not to talk to him. Okay, we can't. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa hey. around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's go subtle. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two, to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay, let's do the non subtle approach. Here we go. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. 
And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Now we got everything that he'll tell us. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Let's go with, uh, second one. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Okay. We have to talk to Allison to reassure her that everything's okay. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's go give Michael a hand, shall we? All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. 
Okay. Okay, tomato cans. Okay. Let's see if we can find the tomato cans. Yeah, he'll call things off to you, and you just have to look for the uh, objects. You know, basically. When you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing this spray paint, Tyler? Yeah. When you see those posters, you just, uh... Okay, here we go. Here's the tomato sauce. Let's see. We gotta count the ones in the back. So let's see. We have... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we have two, four, six, eight. That makes ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, right? Because it's sixteen, right? Hold on. Let me count this. Uh, I'm seeing sixteen cans of tomato sauce. That many? You sure you only counted the tomato cans? Ah, shit. I got cocky. It's actually 14. Okay, 14. Okay. I overcounted. Let's see how you do on the next one. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Okay. Now we gotta find the bottles of bleach. Yeah, I overcounted that, but that's okay. But, um, if you find these, like, little posters here and examine them... Um, it gives you a achievement, basically, if you guys are trying to get the achievements, uh, for certain things. Okay, so for the bleach ball, we can't, uh, check that one out yet, because he's in front of it, basically. And there's another one over here, but you just gotta do this. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Okay, here we go, here's the bleach bottles. Okay, let's count the bleach bottles. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bleach bottles, I believe. Six? Alright. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okay. Okay, now we get to look at this one. Hey, you remember the ad for this? There it is. There's the achievement, oh, guys. The slogan again? Huh. Something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. There we go. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. 